Published 0339, EDT, the 31st of August 2017 Updated 0340, EDT, the 31st of August 2017 North Korea has vowed to track down Seoul reporters and cut off their dirty windpipes for reviewing a vicious and distorted British book about Pyongyang. The secretive state said journalists from two South Korean newspapers had insulted the country's dignity while interviewing the British authors of the book, which describes life under tyrant Kim Jong-un, a court ruling, printed by state media, expressed fury over the descriptions of North Korean lives as increasingly capitalist. It also objected to the translated title of the South Korean edition as Capitalist People's Republic of Korea and the book's cover that replaced the Red Star in North Korea's official seal with the U.S. dollar mark. North Korea has vowed to track down Seoul reporters and cut off their dirty windpipes for reviewing a vicious and distorted British book about Pyongyang. The court also sentenced to death the presidents of the newspapers and said the North will track down to the end and cut off the dirty windpipes of those responsible for such provocations. The North DIDNT directly threatened the British authors of North Korea confidential private markets, fashion trends, prison camps, dissenters and defectors, but said the book viciously defamed and distorted the country's realities. The book was written by Daniel Tudor, a former economist reporter, and James Pearson, a writer's correspondent. Pyongyang said journalists from two South Korean newspapers had insulted North Korea's dignity while interviewing the British authors of the book, which describes life under tyrant Kim Jong-un. A television screen in South Korea shows Kim Jong-un at a recent missile test launch. North Korean propaganda is often filled with odd and extreme threats. In June, it vowed to execute South Korea's former president and her spy chief over an alleged plot to assassinate its leadership. Seoul's National Intelligence Service denied the claim. The North also threatened South Korean news organizations in 2012, when its military warned that its troops had aimed artillery at the specific coordinates of some Seoul-based newspapers and TV stations over their critical reports on children's festivals that had been taking place in Pyongyang. The North DIDNT carry out on the threat to wage a merciless sacred war over the perceived insults.